back yet again. I, uh, by the way, I've not been wearing the same shirt uh, for many days in a row. I'm just making a whole bunch of videos on one particular day. Um, so I don't wear this same shirt every day since the school is closed. But probably a few times. It is one of my favorites. Today, probably a very short video compared to the last few. I'm really hunching over, but it's kind of weird to have half my head missing there. Um, yesterday, we converted fractions to decimals. We saw that they are not only related uh, more than that, they are the same number represented two different ways. If I had 28 hundredths, I can write that as a decimal. It's right past the decimal point. It's two tenths and eight hundredths. It's 28 hundredths. Works very similar to our whole numbers with um, the tens um, and ones, but um, we're, we're in tenths and hundredths. Um, but it, it still works that way with the place value understanding. Um, so we have 28 hundredths written that way, written that way. That's what we did yesterday. Um, today, very similar, but going backwards. If you had a decimal that you're getting more and more comfortable with, there was decimal point nine. We have almost a whole, but we don't have a whole. We have a number that's less than a whole. We have, here's the decimal point. We are in the tenths. Right after the decimal point, nine tenths. Here's the number nine tenths. Write that as a fraction. Sweet, nine tenths. Um, we're, we're comfortable with that. Hopefully we're getting more and more comfortable with that. We're seeing that and we're being able to say that's, uh, let's see, here's the decimal point. I'm in the tenths um, place value um, position and I have nine of them. I have nine tenths or 0.95. I have this number again, uh, near a hole, even more so closer to a hole than that uh, nine tenths. I now have 95 hundredths. I'm out to the hundredths place. Yes, those tenths are there. I just don't have to say it because I have 95 and whatever the furthest place out, that's the one we would say. Uh, if this number got bigger, it's a little bit confusing. That looks like 958, but this next place over as you move into the uh, next grade levels is the thousandths. Here's 958 thousandths, even, even closer to being a whole but we're in the tenths and hundredths. Uh, I have 95 hundredths. Convert that to a fraction. I have 95 hundredths. Let's quickly see another one. If I had a small point, if I, all of a sudden you came across this number, you would read it like how or read it like so. Uh, here's a number written as a decimal. That is 33 hundredths. We're out to the hundredths place. We're two spots over past our decimal point. 33 out of 100, write that as a fraction, all right? Awesome, 33 hundredths. And decimal point, one place over. We're in the tenths, we have one of them. One tenth, that number is one tenth. I can write that as a fraction, one tenth. Enjoy the practice. Uh, very similar to yesterday, but kind of going backwards, you were converting a decimal to a fraction. See you later.